Let's talk facts about student debt. On the day President Biden announced a nationwide plan to forgive ten to twenty thousand dollars worth of student debt per person, depending on your loan and your income. Here's a fact. Half of Colorado's public university grads will leave with debt, averaging more debt than what Biden's talking about forgiving. Almost 97% of households in Colorado would qualify for this debt forgiveness because they make under $250,000 a year. Another fact, Biden's plan addresses the burden of debt, not the current cost of college. Here's Marshall Zellinger. Student loan forgiveness would not be needed if not for so many students needing loans. Half of Colorado Public University graduates leave school with debt. That debt is about an average of about $26,000. Dr. Angie Piccioni heads the state's Department of Higher Education, which wants to get the word out about government money students are missing out on. We leave about 30 to $50 million a year back in that Washington, D.C. that could be right here in the state. She is talking about FAFSA, free application for federal student aid. For the most part, you can get up to almost $7,000 a year, not have to be paid back. These are grants, yeah, not loans. According to Pachoni, fewer than half of Colorado's graduating seniors complete FAFSA, among the lowest in the nation. Of course, the application notoriously is too long, too invasive. They're trying to make it shorter, less invasive. Until then, we want to try to get students to complete it. Compound interest is a beautiful thing. Saving for college is another way to graduate debt free. You can save $10,000 and it's like borrowing 20. Angela Beyer is the CEO of College Invest, Colorado's 529 college savings plan. Money you invest, perhaps so you won't need to borrow a loan that you hope a future president might forgive. We're here for the children and the newborns and even high school students that haven't yet gone to college and this loan forgiveness isn't going to be helping them but savings will. She tells me she likes to talk about College Invest as a program for hairdressers to Harvard. There's a program I learned about today specifically for children born or adopted after January 1st, 2020. College Invest will put $100 in an account if it's open by the child's fifth birthday and will match up to $1,000 a year for five years, Kyle. So think about that versus borrowing and paying interest. Absolutely. And I, I can tell you the program works as somebody who had a, a baby during the pandemic. You just set it up online and away it goes. I learned something else about private schools today, which you could use for a college invest fund. Private schools, I asked DU. We talked about student debt for public universities averaging about 26,000. Last year, uh, student debt from DU graduates, 21,000 less dollars at the private school. That blew me away. That, that's, that number surprised me as well. I guess, I guess there's a lot of folks either getting great financial aid or uh, their moms and dads are sitting on some serious cash when the kid goes to DU. All right. Thank you, Marshall.